What's up Copper fam, Timsy here and today we've been invited down to Charlton Athletics training ground to test out a new piece of technology that is taking the football world by storm. I'm of course talking about this, that's right, GPS vests, but what do they do? Why are clubs using them and what does the future hold for technology like this in the game? Let's go down to Charlton and find out. Wearable technology is effectively a GPS device about the size of a credit card, maybe about a centimetre deep, and it's worn on the back. And it picks up your speed, your position, so it picks up sprints and sprint distance and your location on a pitch, and allows you to analyse all your data. For us, the use of the GPS technology is fundamental to everything we do. You can get a picture of everything the lads do on the pitch, every session they do, every rehabilitation session, every match. We'll analyse, we store that, we can look at that longitudinal across the season or acutely just for the session. So yeah, it really is part of our DNA really. It's a GPS unit, so basically using the satellite, it picks up your position and it picks up your speed, in the same way as any other GPS device does. And then it splits the data up into two elements that you'd want to analyse, so things like what you did every five minutes, so that way you can look to see, did I last well through the entire game, did my performance fall away in the second half? And there's a bunch of, uh, of analysis like that you can do through the simple data you get from the GPS unit. So the main metrics we look at is their overall distance, so that'll be the total distance they cover. Then we'll go into more of the sprint high speed work, the velocities you hit, so if we're hitting peak velocities in the match, um, we can look at the accelerations they do, the decelerations, uh, the angles they do that at, um, everything really, I mean you could, we can go into as much detail as we want. It is the one bit of kit that is used every day in academies that your normal amateur player doesn't have until now. Every pitch based session they do, we use it. The impact when you use the technology for, for teams, amateur teams and even individuals is immediate because you get measures for things you never had before. How much sprinting did I do in the game? Did I fall away in the second half? Where did I do my sprinting on the pitch? you're training two days before a game, they don't want you doing more than five kilometres. They want you, and they want to ma measure that and manage it and make sure, yeah, everybody did what they were meant to do, uh, except Michael, who ran around like a lunatic because he wants to impress the boss because he wants to play on Saturday. But Michael, that's not the best way for you to prepare physically. So there's managing that training activity. Rehab, definitely. So when we have players who are injured, they do their rehab sessions, we need to make sure they're ready to return to play. So that could be something like, because we have their data for matches, we know we need to tick X, Y, Z box so when they come back in they can deal with the demands of that. So it's been brilliant for us as a sports science department, as I said, to know what every player has done on every day and how we can actually manipulate their training week and their training so that we can achieve the most out of them without breaking them down. It's been uh, crucial. So we have finished the training match and I did spend the first half in goal. Didn't do that well. I think I've broken my finger. Second half, better performance. I was outfield, didn't really have a position because no one had positions. It was just running around. But it's going to be interesting to see what stats I get. So uh, if we go on to the Player Tech app, it's fairly easy to sync actually. Um, but yeah, so it says I've performed 23% of a professional midfielder's performance. Here's where it gets interesting. So we've got the heat map. Um, as you can see, first half, I was either a goal-hanging striker or indeed a goalkeeper. So it is actually really cool because the fact that I'm a nobody player, I play the odd Saturday, Sunday league game and yet I have my own heat map now. So, um, but yeah, as you can see, second half, I've sort of lingered around that centre midfield spot. No sprints in goal in the first half, which is a shame, uh, despite my gaff that I broke my finger and the second half, yeah, a few more sprints, which is nice. 
if you and your mates, this is the thing now, it's easy, it's readily available for you and your friends now, even like amateur players and non-league players, all of you can get one and put yourself in your own league and a team. So, as we did today, so distance kilometre, so you can compare in your whole team, so I'm guessing this is what professional clubs are going to do, they play a game, they all wear the vest, especially in pre-season, and they all put them onto the same grouping, and then they can see, oh here, the striker has run this many kilometres, midfielders run this many kilometres, they need to work on this and that. So it is actually really good because the level of detail, it's, you can see how they would take that and then use that in the next day's training session or the cool down or any rehab for injured players and stuff. So it's really interesting. But I think what player tech manages to do is actually take a lot of the complicated analysis available at the elite level and actually make it a bit simpler for amateur teams to use, but bringing the core analysis and also bringing that to the consumer user as well. So there is your lowdown on PlayerTech and Catapult, which are one of the leaders in GPS technology in football and sport in general. And yeah, it's a really deeply analytical technology that has taken the world by storm, really. And it's also great to see elite level technology now being readily accessible, even for non-league players, amateurs like myself. I'd recommend it for me personally. It's been great to see how good and bad I was. And fair to say that this is a technology that will go from strength to strength in its presence in football and sport in general. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Copernati. I hope you've enjoyed. I've been Timsy. See you later.